This is April of 1965. Marley McNamara and I are climbing around on the pink granite outcropping at the Shawn Horse. That flower is called Purple Boy. This granite is some of the oldest rock from the Earth's interior. Geologists just go mad about it. Now we're looking down into the valley of the Shawn Horse. This is the same granite from which the capital of the state of Texas is made. Now I'm sitting down behind some prickly pear. And that is the devil's pincushion. It comes in shades of yellow and orange and red. And at this season of the year, it's covered solid with blossoms. Sometimes I've seen them six feet across. This too is on the Sean Hart. Margie and I spent the whole morning exploring. She likes the camera and she likes to walk just as I do. And here I am in a field of blue bonnets dotted here and there with white poppies and in the distance you can see some live oak trees. You can see how tall they grow. I'm sitting down and they're very lush growth. It's called buffalo clover. It's a member of the lupin family. Here's one of the old stone fences. Okamoto's taking a picture. They wander over Hill and Dale. They were built in about the first decade after the Civil War, before barbed wire came to this country. I hate to think of all the man hours of labor that went into them. There's Margie behind the prickly pear. These old fences have a, a delightful patina to them. They are dry stone. They're not put together with any mortar. Uh, this is the stone, the same kind, that was used in building uh, the extension onto the ranch house where Lyndon's office is, the fireplace and the west wall. And this is along the road to the Sharn Horse. That's Galardia, Indian blanket. They line the highways for mile and mile. And there's some yellow flowers, probably Mexican hat. It's, it's one of the programs for the highway department of the state of Texas to throw out wildflower seeds. These are the pins of the Sean Horst. Dale Malachek is branding the cattle. He's putting numbers on their horns. His little boy is helping him. They are registered white-faced herbert and the smell of burning horn was very heavy in the air. And now two of Dale's little boys are driving the cattle. They love to help. Sometimes it's doubtful how much help they are. Dale is a college graduate, but he's a working man. That's Alfredo, the Mexican who worked on the ranch. And there's the valley of the Shawn Horse spread out below us from that rocky promontory. It would be a good country to shoot a movie in. This is the weekend of Memorial Day. My brother Tony and his wife are visiting us and we're back on Lake Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon at the wheel. Jesse, bless him, always in the banker's clothes. Never can get him in the sport clothes. Been trying 10 years. That's Matiana, my sister-in-law. Tony was in the back seat without a shirt on. And that is the house on the cliff. Belongs to Mr. Urschel, uh, a sugar heir whose father was kidnapped uh, some years ago and in a very dramatic fashion. Uh, there's the most delightful little cable car that goes up to that house. There's Beagle. He always likes to be where Lyndon is, wherever it is. It's about sunset, the beautiful pack saddle mountain in the background, something I always love. Many of our weekends were spent on Lake Lyndon B. Johnson. There I am on top of the boat, my favorite spot. There's Lee Udall, there's Jake, there's Abe Fortas, Jack Valenti, and there's Stu, while Lee's getting some good sun. And there's Lyndon. He's usually driving. This time he's not. And there's Bill Douglas. He came down for a wonderful weekend. He'd been working on a book about the mountains 
the Big Bend country. And there's Marianne Mean. And there's A.W. We'd be lonesome without him. There's adventurous to you in the water having a swim. We're down close to the dam now. Here I am. One of my favorite things to do in the summer is just to lie on my back and float and look up at the birds and the sky. It's a good place where you can swim all the way across the lake down at Mary Margaret's house. A crossing back makes a good bit of exercise. And there's the moon coming out just at twilight with the road to Marble Falls hugging the cliff along the mountain behind us. Lyndon is talking to Marianne Means and John Chancellor. John's down with some NBC people shooting the president's country. We're out on the water. Lyndon is probably telling him how he feels about the land he grew up in. It turned out to be a wonderful film. There's Warren Woodward, a good man for work or play. John Chancellor and NBC man. I'm all bundled up against the cold. And there's Vigo, the happiest passenger on any trip, and always at home. And here we are at Mayor Margaret's house. We're going in for some refreshments. John Chancellor, Marianne. Oh, a delight for any photographer. A butterfly landing on a pink thistle. This is home, the front yard under the live oak, looking down to the river. There's the Ritama. It blooms from about April through August. And there are the peacocks up on top of the house, one of their favorite haunts. They get up there and they holler, help! Look at him, spreading out, trying to attract his lady love, I suppose. 